everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get this weapon and other really cool weapons. Because in the previous video, we did the underground coliseum or floating coliseum, my bad. And what we got from it were some silver lionel saber horns, silver lionel mace horns, white lionel saber horns. We got a whole bunch of lionel parts. So today, we're going to put them to use, and I'm going to show you how to get some really overpowered weapons. Alright, hope you enjoy. So, the first one we're going to get is this. This is the highest, one of the highest damage weapons you can get. I think you can get it up to 182. I just didn't spend a whole lot of time doing it. So, to get it, first, what we're going to need to do is go to Hyrule Castle. We can do this however you want, but if you haven't been there, I'd recommend, if you don't have two full wheels of stamina, cook some stamina food. Come over to this Skyview Tower right here at Lookout Landing. I'm sure you're all familiar with it. And launch out. So we're going to need to go to the Stanctum. So, once we're done gliding, immediately glide. Um, I'm going to put on my glide armor so it'll be a little easier to get there so we can skydive a little bit at the end. And make sure you have, if you have Tulin, make sure to use him throughout this because he will give you a big boost of wind that you can use. Alright. Alright, we are approaching... Oh, I forgot. I've all metal stuff equipped so I would recommend you come in the top here because there's two chests with really helpful items so remember if you're getting low on stamina eat some food to replenish it I obviously didn't need that much but it does help and once you get within a certain range it'll it'll change to this map which if you've been here before I'm sure you're familiar with Alright, so, if you haven't been here before, there'll be a chest right where I'm standing. And there'll also be another one right here. These guys are kind of annoying. And then after that, you can jump on down. It's right here. I'm pretty sure there aren't any chests here. Oh, yeah, there are. Apparently, I missed this earlier. Let's see what's in here. 300 bucks. That ain't bad. Alright, so, if we come down here, there's a couple weapons, and there is a chest right here. I don't remember what it has in it. There's also a royal broadsword somewhere. But what we want to do is come to the Stanctum, and pop down right here. If you haven't been here before, make sure to throw two fire fruit, or whatever flame means necessary at this. And this will open a secret compartment back here chest in there will have the champion's leathers which looks good in my opinion it's like the new champion's tunic and after you're done with that if you want some good weapons come up this way and right here there'll be some arrows and over here there'll be a royal guard's bow 50 which is pretty good it does have a little bit of a bad durability, but that's okay. If you come back around here, there'll be a Royal Guard's Claymore, which is what we are looking for. So, I'm going to get rid of this Gloom Sword. Now that we have one, feel free to loot more of the castle. I'm pretty sure there's more... There's more weapons over here. Yeah, like there's a Royal Halberd. Pretty sure there's a Royal... Oh yeah, Royal Sheet or a Royal Guard Shield. There's a lot of stuff here. I'll probably make a future video on it, or you can find one yourself. After that, after we're done here, we are going to head over to Terrytown. Well, you don't have to head over to Terrytown, but I'm going to head over there so that I can show you how to fuse and unfuse the weapons. So if you don't like it, then you can put it back. Right, we are pulling up on Terrytown right here, and you're going to want to look for this shop with the big platform and the little going buddy. 
Stock up on bomb flowers while I'm here. I always grab those. So, if you don't know what this is, this is Pelson. He'll take whatever fused weapons you have and take them apart. So, to make this really overpowered 1E modifier, you're going to want to take this. As you notice, the blue text, it says it holds a massive destructive power just before it breaks. So, the attack power, this goes from 32. This one's at 64 because it's at the breaking point. So you're going to want to just do jump attacks or use it on an enemy right up until it breaks. There we go. We got the message that it was badly damaged. You can do one more after it. This will make it do critical hits even more. which is So see, now it's at 64. Now what we're going to want to do is take out our silver main Lionel Horn or whatever Lionel Horn you want to use. It works with white mained Lionel Horns too if you want. I'm going to do the, the Saber Horn for now because it does more damage and it looks better. Now we're going to take Fuse and Fuse it to it. As you notice, it's no longer badly damaged and it only does 87 at this point. So you're going to want to keep hitting it until it's badly damaged again. There we go, we got the message badly damaged. We're going to do one more. And as you can see, now it's at 174, which is the same as this one. Now, notice this one's at 180, which is different. See, the base attack is 70, base attack on here is 64. So, the way to do this, if you're not familiar, is to go to the Elden region, over here, and find our friends the Rocked Oc Octor. Alright, so as you can see, this guy is the guy we're looking for. And, as you'll probably know, they just shut, and then they blow the ball back at you. So we're gonna do, run up real close to him, and make him go away and drop whatever weapon that you want to you wanna enhance. And now make sure you make a hard save. Actually, I need that back. Make a hard save beforehand so that you can come back and reload the save if you don't if you don't get the, the modifier you want. So we're going to drop that, back up, and hold out our shield. Oh, and make sure none of your sages are active, because because if they kill them, that's bad. You want them to stay alive. So we're going to let him suck it up. Come on, man. And then he's going to chew. And then he's going to spit it back out. I always use rewind. And see, we got a durability up. That is not what we want. So we're going to reload the save. Alright, so we have... Reloaded the save again, so drop the weapon, back up, switch to recall for when we need it. You choose it, and he's gonna spit it back out. And see, we got critical hit, which we also don't need, so we're gonna reload the save, reload the save again. All right, just reloaded the save again. Sages are deactivated. Drop the weapon. And wait for him. Also, Rock Docker Ox repair weapon, so you're gonna have to smash it a whole bunch. So, that is a downside. Oh, we got critical hit again. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to reload the save some more. So after a couple bit of saving and reloading, we finally got a pack up. A pack up four. So after you use him once, you're going to want to kill him so that he'll respawn the next blood moon. Because they can only do it once per blood moon. And then we're going to want to find another rock octrug, which I would set your, set your sensor to so that you can so that you can find him easier. So, after a little bit of wandering around, I was not able to find another Rock Hawk Rock, and I'm not going to take the time to do that right now. So, it's still at 91, as you can see. So, we're just going to want to break it over and over again. Alright, we got the message that it was badly damaged, so we're going to do one more. And as you can see, now we have 182. So, it has a 7, because so it was attack at 4, which is better than what I have here. This is attack up 3. So, yeah. Good job. And, yeah, so that is your overpowered weapon that you have. The other thing, notice the starting the starting thing that we had. Here, I'm just going to get rid of this, because is a decayed 
Well, no, it's Claymore. You can find pristine versions in the depths that aren't broken. So, if you want to find a pristine version, all you gotta do is br you gotta have to have obtained the weapon in the overworld, and you have to have broken it. So, all right, there we go. Now we've broken it, and now I'm gonna take you to the spot where they spawn underground. All right, so we're on our journey to find pristine weapons in the underground. From what I've heard and seen, um, most of them can be found under the Gerudo Highlands. So we're gonna go for this light route right here, and then we're gonna go to this this pit right here on the underground to grab it. So, uh, see you in a second. All right, so we're above the hole. We don't need the pin anymore. And now we can... Let's keep it on this. Let's actually pause here for a s Oh, whoops. I forgot I wasn't wearing my glide armor. Alright, we are going to try this again with the glide armor this time. I don't really care that I'm freezing. We're just going to go for it. Oh yeah, and right above here there's the weird, like... The weird like moon jumps that you find at the the water temple kind of fun fact it's a pin still there oh we got rid of it we're gonna see the x instead of the pin my lucky day a star fragment and we caught it in midair that's nice I've done that like five times over the course of this Alright, we're not going to die from fall damage this time. Alright, temperature meter is fine. We're just going to descend as fast as we possibly can. And at the end, oh, we still have a little ways to go. Alright, so the shrines we want to head for, I'm pretty sure there's one over here. And of course this yellow one blue and yellow. Yep, this one. Also, that's a Yiga camp. Stuff we can look for later. And sneak under here. Also, if you're wondering why I didn't take any fall damage, um, it's because, whoa. That was a large area. Who knew? Anyway, it's because of my glide set impact proof bonus. I will have a future video on that. Also, we need the rest of our sages down here, just in case. So, yeah, once we're down here, we're just going to start looking around. Alright, I decided to make my hover bike, and as we're traveling, let's, uh, let's consume one of my large, large cores real quick we can see the light route up ahead. So, according to my calculations, there's a pristine weapon right about where we're flying, but I'm more curious in grabbing the light route because it'll help with our search. Mark that. Not very well. Alright, so I've done some exploring. I've gathered a lot of light roots. These three light roots got a huge area over here. And I have just found the pristine royal guard weapons. So it is on this, not here, right here. This pedestal right here. Now remember you have to break it before you do the before it'll be able to spawn in down here. Alright. So what you want to do, if you want to get a modifier, it's easier than doing the Rock Octorox. You just want to save right beforehand, and grab it. I didn't get any modifiers on that, so we're going to reload the save. Alright, just reloaded the save. Looks like we didn't get any modifier. We might be stuck with zero weapon modifiers, but after you do that, they're going to disappear. So, something I'd recommend for when you're later hunting, let's drop this and make sure to take a picture of it. 
because then we can track it with sensor plus next time. Now is the fun part to take the Lionel Saber horn, fuse it to this, and smash it over and over again. All right, we got the message that it was badly damaged. So we can do it one more time. And look at that, 188, and it doesn't even have any modifiers either. So we could take this to a Rock Octorok in the next Blood Moon, or try and find one, and we would get something even more powerful, like, I don't know, we could get maybe maybe up to 200. So, yeah, that is the guide for the best weapons without, like, modifiers and other stuff. I'll make another video on that soon. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.